Hey guys, it's Lexi from Cali Kites and Last Mile Last Set. Today we're building a Super 73 RX Dark Earth. These are the tools you're gonna need. A five millimeter hex tool, some grease for the pedals, a 15 millimeter wrench, and some snips will be helpful, plus a beer if you're over 21. Cool, well you're gonna wanna start off with a sip of beer just to get things rolling. And then you'll take your snips and crack open the box. And there's four things over here. So there's boxes up top. These are pedals and other things you need to build the bike. Set it aside for now. And this is your charger. You're gonna need this later. Bike comes out. set for the heavy lifting. And then the battery comes taped to the box underneath the bike. Don't throw this out with the rest of it. Side of the side. Now it's time to take off all the packaging. Cool, now that we've taken care of that, uh, grab your beer, take a sip, get ready for the next one. Next step is to put your handlebars on and this came taped to the RX. It is the mount for the top. Sometimes the wires take a little finessing to get behind the headlight. And you place the handlebars right in this groove. Cool. Take this guy, put it right on top and line up the holes and screw these in just enough to hold the mount on. So just make sure that these um, textured pieces are centered in the Super 73 logo and you want your handlebars to be centered in it as well. So now take that five mil Allen and tighten it up. Make sure you get this really tight. Uh, worst case scenario, you break and your handlebars fall forward. After that, you're probably pretty thirsty, so time for another sip of beer. So next, 
next up is the petals. Uh, one of those boxes from earlier looks like this. It'll have a label on it. Inside is your manual, which you can set aside for now. Your tool that you need to put the petals on. And the petals. These guys are marked on the bottom, left and right. Just make sure you get them on the right sides. Left, right. Now take your grease. Put a little bit just on the edges. Get your petal lined up and you can pedal it backwards to tighten it and get it started and once it's in there enough take your wrench and keep going you'll feel it tighten and this one's done. Now just repeat on the other side. Now, sip a beer. battery on but first you're going to take the wrapping off the seat if you want to get it off really well you're going to have to take a four millimeter allen key to the seat under here to be able to remove it completely we'll get that taken off now of course you need to sip a beer <clears throat> then you're going to grab that battery On one of these side pockets, there's going to be your set of keys. Important to taking the battery off and on. That's their only function. Oh, unwrap this bad boy. line up these grooves with your motor driver here and if you look on the side you can see where the battery clicks in like so to make sure you don't lose your keys go ahead and check them in the keyhole Now another sip. Uh, so now you're gonna wanna air up the tires, make sure they're at the correct PSI. You're gonna need a tire gauge and an air pump. Come down here. Take the cap off. Obviously pretty low, you want to set these at 36 PSI. Oh, 36. And then just repeat on the back. Now that your bike is ready to ride, it's time to learn how to use it.
first sip of beer. So first charge the battery. To charge the battery, you have to have it turned on. This is the charge port right underneath the power button. And this is the charger. We like to charge our batteries off just for convenience. To do that, take your key, twist it counterclockwise, and slide the battery off. Again, want to make sure your battery is turned on when you plug it in. And make sure your pinholes line up. As soon as the battery is charging, you'll see a red light indicator on the charger. The last thing you're going to want to do is make sure your firmware is fully upgraded. Uh, you're going to need the Super 73 app to do this. Once you open the Super 73 app, it'll look like this. You can tap to pay your vehicle. It's going to be the only one that pops up as long as your bike is the only one on within range. That's your guy. Oh, go to the top left corner and this exclamation mark means that your vehicle needs a firmware upgrade. Go here, tap that exclamation mark, and update firmware. Cool. Alright, last thing in the app is to make sure you are fully unlocked in this bike is. ready to ride. To do that, come over here, make sure your bike is turned on. This is your throttle, these are your brakes. This is your pedal assist to go up in pedal assist levels. Press up this way, towards the max. And to go down, same thing, zero is straight throttle. You don't have to turn on the headlights. Turn on the headlight, press and hold the top button. We'll turn on here. To turn it off, same thing. Press and hold that top button. That's pretty much it. Super simple, but if you don't want to feel like, but if you don't want to mess with it, you can come visit us in San Francisco or New York, Last Mile SF or Last Mile NYC, and we'll do it for you. Finish your beer and have fun. See ya. Ha, ha, ha.